Ten times Sasuke was a better father than Naruto. Sasuke doesn't always seem like the best father a ninja could ask for, but he was at least better than Naruto on occasion. There's a lot of things that can be nitpicked about the Boruto series. And it's far from perfect, but neither was its predecessor, Naruto. The one thing they have nailed down well is Sasuke's character. He acts just as he should following his redemption. Remaining a little more detached than his friend Naruto. That extends to his parenting skills, which were lacking at the start of the series but rounded into form by the time his daughter, Sarada, got her arc. He was always going to be more of a hands-off parent, but sometimes he handled it all better than Naruto. 10. Sasuke didn't make promises he couldn't keep. In an effort to be the best Hokage he could be, Naruto had a penchant for making promises he couldn't keep. He always promises Hinata and his kids that he'd be around more often. Even pretending like he was via a shadow clone. The biggest moment of this is Himawari's birthday when everyone is happy Naruto is there, only for him to drop the cake when it's revealed to be a shadow clone. Ruining the moment. Sasuke may not be there often, but at least he doesn't lie. 9. Sasuke distances himself to keep his kids safe. On the surface, Sasuke seems like an awful parent for always being away from Sarada and Sakura while he researches Kagaya. That's not the truth though. He's trying to keep them safe, knowing how dangerous his mission is. The last thing he'd want is to put either of them in danger due to his expeditions into other dimensions. It's shown in full when he reprimands Naruto for bringing children with him to their meeting. Especially with Shin running around. 8. Sasuke keeps a close eye on Sarada when he knows she's being targeted by Shin. Sasuke didn't always show how much he cared about Sarada, with early parts of the series making it seem like he cared little for her. That changed during her arc and the subsequent conflict with Shin Uchiha. Shin wasn't much of a villain, acting more as a cheap imitation of Danzo's multiple Sharingan. Still, he did provide a few great moments with Sasuke. First, he used his body to block his attack on Sarada and then made sure she stayed close to him once it became clear she was Shin's target. 7. Sasuke believes in the abilities of his family. One of the interesting themes in the Sarada Uchiha arc was how much faith Sasuke had in both his wife and daughter. He kept them out of his business not because he didn't think they were capable, but because he didn't want to put them in unnecessary danger. The way he believed in Sakura even after Shin kidnapped her was great, and that subtle smirk he had when Sarada was taking on Shin's clones showed the faith he had. 6. Sasuke uses Sarada as proof of his bond to Sakura. The culmination of the Sarada Uchiha arc was Sarada learning that Sakura was her true mother and that her father actually loved her. Confirming that she had a true family. It was a good development, giving Sasuke a little relatability that he'd been missing in the first parts of Boruto. When Sasuke told Sarada that she was living proof of how much he loved Sakura. Everyone could feel her heart skip a beat as emotions overcame her. 5. Sasuke was willing to ask for help in connecting with Sarada. Part of being a parent is struggling to figure out how to handle their children, something Sasuke humorously had to go through on Parent and Child Day. It's one of the best episodes for that reason, combining Sasuke's natural awkwardness with the angst of Sarada and the awful advice of Kakashi. Sasuke didn't know how to connect with his daughter. Trying to do everything he could as a doting father, even asking others for help. His one mistake was going to Kakashi, who gave him advice he'd read in his books, leading to awful results. It still shows that Sasuke cared enough to look for help. 4. Sasuke was willing to train Boruto helped him see the values in his father. 
It's odd how both of Naruto and Sasuke's kids ended up getting along with their father's best friend rather than their actual dad. Sarada went to Naruto to help calm her down when she lost it over Sakura apparently not being her mother. Meanwhile, Boruto went to Sasuke to become stronger than his dad. Sasuke accepted but trained him in more than just ninjutsu. He imparted a few life lessons, helping Boruto see what a great man his father was, something Naruto himself never could do. 3. Sasuke helped mold Boruto into the ninja he currently is. Sasuke had a bigger hand in developing Boruto than his own father did. When Boruto hated Naruto, it was Sasuke who guided him to see how much Naruto cared. He did the very same with Boruto when he began to avoid hard work and take the easy way out of everything. Sasuke helped show Boruto what it meant to be a true shinobi and work through actual strife rather than the manufactured drama that Boruto often whined about. 2. Sasuke helped Sarada rely on more than just her Sharingan. After Team 7's encounter with Deepa, both Boruto and Sarada went to Sasuke for more training. With Naruto so busy, Sasuke tended to be the designated trainer of both his daughter and Boruto. In this instance, he got to focus solely on Sarada, teaching her about her Sharingan and how to properly utilize it. He wanted her to grasp that it wasn't something to crutch on, and that it was there to augment abilities rather than be the focal point. It was the type of parenting Sasuke excelled at. Helping push someone to reach their potential. 1. Sasuke, along with Sakura, helped Sarada no overcome her greatest weakness. Sasuke did more than just teach Sarada to not rely solely on her Sharingan. Both he and Sakura helped Sarada realize her greatest weakness was fear of losing and her poor chakra control. Both of those weaknesses were holding her back, preventing her from reaching her full potential as a ninja. The way they did it was unique to them both as parents, Sakura challenging her daughter to a duel that Sasuke would oversee.